Hey guys, welcome back to Community. Coming at you for another video of Fresh Shadows. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you're doing well and looking after yourselves and had a great weekend. Uh, great start to the week, right? A little bit quiet, not much going on. So, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, other than that, real busy in real life and with Tegos and stuff like that. So, anyway, before we go ahead and start with today's video, I just want to kind of come out here and with something and just show you what's going on so uh every couple of weeks we do have a thing called sub saturday from my twitch channel which is basically coaching and uh champion regears for t uh, twitch subs um you can find my link down to my twitch streams down below where we stream six to seven days a week uh between 6 p.m gmt time which is england to about 12 o'clock one o'clock gmt time so you can go out and check that out if you're interested in that or if you need any help in Rage Shot Legends. That is a link to go and press. Uh, you can also enter my Discord. And if you would like to enter, you can go ahead and just press in interested. Next one will be on the 27th of April, so just under two weeks. Uh, and this is what we will be doing. So you can, if you have any questions or anything like that, go ahead, hit me up. If you're not a subscriber to my Twitch channel, that's fine. You can earn your channel points and enter by the channel points as well which is completely free anyway let's go into today's video today video we are going to do the world's strongest not just the world's strongest uh raid strongest aoe nuka in raids right now and damn i've made a video about him before because i have him on my account but he's not the world's strongest on my account but he's going to be sigford so we are going to take the world's strongest sigford a spin today in platinum arena and show you what he can do against the top meta champions and defenses in today's video so i'm going to go through his kit very quickly uh overall his base attack is reasonable 1600 good base speed of 110 which is very on the high side and everything else is pretty standard he has a attacks one enemy two times here uh this will also transfer the buffs off him so it's like a little mini cleanse which is super cool if you like try and CC him other than stun he will just basically move on to you which can be super cool um and then like your attack all enemies here each uh Kruger hit will give him 25 percent turn meter he does cycle through the abilities really cool uh really quickly and he will reset the skill of the a3 if this kills a enemy uh if this uh, attacks kills a enemy I really set uh, this champion's skill as well on the A2 if he kills two or more. So it's a full reset, kind of really cool as well. Then this is where the big boy nuke comes in. So attack one enemy, ignore 50% target defense. We'll attack all enemies remaining uh, with remaining enemies with any surplus damage. His initial target is killed. Um, also heal the champion by the... This champion by its initial hit kills a enemy. Uh, this is on a free turn cooldown. This is huge. This is just a metamorph. Uh, you can only use the metamorph. He's the last one. Um, if he's the last one available, it might give you some hints and tricks as well on how to count this guy. He's very difficult to counter. I am actually really good at counting him because I have him on my account, right? So I know how to count him pretty easily. So for me, it's fairly easy to counter him anyway so attacks this enemy if this champion is about to get killed by a fatal hit will block incoming damage and place block damage debuff on him for for this champion for two turns then heals this champion by 50 percent of the max hp fills a turn meter by 100 percent cool cool passive ability let's go and take a second look at his second uh, metamorph now i haven't really covered this metamorph in any videos or anything yet because it's never really propped i will prop this purposely today so we can kind of see it and this is the like his first form is amazing second form is just is amazing as well it's a super strong second form the only problem i have with this is i can't metamorph when i want that is the only problem that i have with his kit so on a one your tackle enemies to heal the champion on all allies by 20 percent inflicted damage That's super cool then he has removes all debuffs from all allies. Then heals all allies by 30% of the max HP. So it is a weak heal, but it's still fairly good. 
and also plays block debuffs. So it's a cleanse, a really weak heal, and then block debuffs. A super cool ability, pretty OP as well. Uh, and then again, we also have like the passive here revive all dead allies with 50% turn meter and 50% HP, then places a block damage on them for two turns on a four turn cooldown. Again, super OP and then decreases the damage taken by skills by 20%. So uh, a bit of a pa passive reduction here as well. And then he has a aura in all battles, which is a 35% aura. Uh, as you can see, like his HP is fairly good as well, but he wouldn't stack that high. Speed is fairly good as well in his form. Uh, and he is a support base. So he goes from attack base to a support base. Anyway, let's go take him for a spin, right? That's what we really want to see. So um, I didn't really need so much practice with this one today because I already have him. So it's not too shabby. So we're going to go ahead, start looking him at the arena. We're probably going to take on some of the big boys today. Maybe try and avoid the sheepy teams, which is about it. Um, and stuff like that. So we have uh, King Queen here with the lockout. So this is a good start. Uh, super OP team, uh, King Queen, Fusion, and stuff like that. And then you'll, sh you'll see the Lizard Man in action a little bit different here. So you'll be funny surprised to see that Lizard Man and Siegfried synergy together is absolutely crazy. And they work like chalk and cheese. It's like having a ham sandwich without butter have you ever had ham sandwich without butter it's not very nice right so you don't need him but he does complement him very well uh so we're going to do the lockout here we get a lockout plus the strip and then this is when i generally like to do this here and then you can come into the a2 now if there's all stone skin here and stuff like that I'd probably do this to a2 i won't waste a a1 uh, there has been cases where he can break through stone skin, depending on the champion and obviously on your build as well. Uh, we have no increased attack or anything like that. So we're going to go hit in 300 and then there was 642k on the left hand side against uh, Queen, I think it was. So absolute cannon of a newt there. Uh, we have Tentacle here. Tentacle is a very good player. He's got a, a little bit of sheep, nothing too much. Uh, if he's faster, he wins, obviously. Uh, there's no denying that. Um, but Lizaman and this guy, Sigfrid, is really good against Taurus and Rishka because he can put block damage on himself. So he pre basically stops himself being killed, which is super, super strong. So we will lose Queen here, but that's fine. Um, we will get Revive as well. And then we'll put up... Uh, Block debuffs here to stop um to stop tor uh stop Cfi basically C for me, right? Which would be super cool. Uh we're probably just gonna waste this ability so we can get around it. And then there it is, he'll do the A1 there. And then we're gonna do the reset because why not? Uh just make sure we can keep this running. Now we want to hit the Thank you, one. We're going to hit Marishka. Normally, we wouldn't hit Marishka, right? But we're going to hit Marishka this time. 550 million, right? Then we're going to come into the A2. And then we're going to take the whole team out. And that is basically... This is 45 seconds if I'm not talking, if I'm not, if I'm paying attention to this, right? And this is one of the best defenses in the game right now with meta champions. Obviously, if it changes this up a little bit for the Queen... Um, and if we was pushing Platinum Arena in the last 15 minutes, this will change slightly his defense and become much stronger than it is right now. There is no denying that. We have Double Taurus down here, which is, is very notoriously difficult. And Husker is one of the best players in SP right now. Uh, obviously, I know him quite well. Uh, I've known him for a while. Great guy. Uh, not really good guy to have a conversation with. Really knowledgeable in Arena. So let's go take him on in the Arena. Um, he he's a really big fan of his Alva as well. Uh, you, I think he's actually got high resistance. Uh, Alva here, or maybe he's changed it because I felt like he used to have high resistance. Anyway, we're gonna go up and put the block buffs. They're locked out, so that's super cool. 
we're gonna go ahead come in here then we're gonna take out Mariska. now you basically target the one that doesn't have the um you're targeting one that you know that doesn't have reaction right reaction can be a problem udk can also be a problem for him as well so there is no um he's not like there is a counters to him within the game already so but again super super fun team uh to use and like if you're lucky enough to have this queena can also be replaced with any lockout really Yumiko would be strong. Warlord in Stone Skin would be fine. Um, you're just missing a reset, which will slow you down slightly. But other than that, everything else would be looking pretty cozy. Uh, I think this is Dark Prison account. Me and Dark go a long, long way back from our Claw days together. Me and him was like the big two boys in Claw. Uh, shout out to all the Claw members. A lot of them still going strong in OG cluster and still actually i keep in contact with a lot of them uh, and a lot of them still watch the streams and stuff like that so um anyway let's do this lockout so let's do the lockout see if we get resisted here we'll pay attention so you can see that lizard man actually will revive in this form that's why we're not going to transform and we kind of leave him as like a backup nuker right so he's somewhere as a as a backup really then we can do Suze around. Now we didn't move, remove stone skin, so it is what it is, uh, which can happen. So we're gonna take out Sifi. Obviously, she's the the reviver. You got 1.2k there on um Yumacone. 1.2k million damage in the arena. This is not clan boss. This is not Hoija, you know, like this is arena. So absolutely insane numbers. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to do the A2 because I feel like we will kill Rishka right now. And it looks like we still got reaction here on Georgie. Um, I kind of want to see, like, as you can see, he's critted 50. He hit crit two champions and it's halfway. So if we crit four champions, he can cycle back way to basically nearly extra turn. So uh, there is be cases in Live Arena where I've done it loads of times, really. So and then there we are. So we even hit through reaction there on that one. So again, really fun team here. One minute farm, no worries. Uh, we have a Taurus down here. This is much easier than what we went up against. But we have like a lot of sheep here, and it's very sheep heaven, right? This guy is loving sheep. Obviously, he must love lamb chops and whatever else he likes to eat so uh all really love rng right we must really love rng so uh, it's one of them ones uh, let's do the again increase speed uh aoe lockout man i bet for pushing on this plat uh pushing on this account would be so fun for plat uh as you can see it got sheeped which is no surprise now we we use in his kit we generally want to target someone that you're going to kill right because otherwise you're not going to get surplus damage so look for someone that's already took a turn so you don't worry about reaction someone that's not in stone skin or it, as long as they're not taunting you or anything like that you should be fine so i'm going to target him because he's a squishiest or sifi but sifi was the one that's actually in reaction there and then we're going to go ahead and clean up oh no swift perry there we are so with Perry doing its job here, and he's going to be a, a right pain in my backside. Yep, here we go. So this is going to be funny. Because he's going to go to town on me. Mm, now if Lizard wakes up, we'll be fine. So it's a bit of a pain. I'm really looking forward to the day where they will uh, basically release a counter to this guy because it's just so annoying absolutely a pain in the arena mm, i will do a video one day uh probably next week actually about how to counter this guy in the arena uh, i'm gonna use my account for it uh, i've got a couple of ideas and there is a couple of ways that you can counter him so we're gonna go into it next week and i'll be showing a video off that i think it'll be towards the end of next week so keep it on the channel uh i want to do some testing and stuff like that first and farm some sand devil 
if I get the opportunity. So I will be looking into that. And also I will be releasing how to counter Sigfoot in just in general content because right now he is one of the most wanted mythicals in the game right now and pretty much everywhere in the arena right now. So you've got him on this account here, we've got him on this account here, this one here, and this one here. So I am really quite I do really quite well against against him in arena. I don't really have that much trouble to his now and again. He catches me off guard. Depend on the rest of the roster, right? Uh and stuff like that. So yeah, we will go into that over the next week or so. I'm actually looking for tourist teams, but seems like no one wants to play today because I've already tacked Dark and it doesn't really make sense when we tag them again. So we have got UDK here. Uh, this would, might actually be a fun one to take. So we've got plus four and everything. So, and fully awakened. So this is basically the strongest of the strongest Taurus and Marishka. I don't think I've seen many plus fours Taurus and Marishka fully awakened. So this is a bit of a crazy one. Um, we probably will, might lose this. Um, no fairness, but we'll see. Depends if we get sheeped, because it looks like, again, he likes his sheep city. So he's got a little bit of uh, stone skin on two of the champions. So hopefully we can strip. We do strip and lock out pretty much. Now we do have to worry about that. Yeah, we get sheeped basically, which kind of kills my vibe. Uh, we're going to do A2 this time because UDK is there. Doesn't make sense to use that. And I think we can go ahead and just try and do that. No. Okay, cool. This man's going to go down to Taurus. No. Goes down to Marishka instead. Um, and this might be a good time actually to see the second form, right? So let's not do that. We get sheeped again. Mm -mm. Where's the shirt? Where's where's the where's the nerf to the sheep? I thought we was nervous. Okay, so there's three enemies up. Uh, we should get fifty percent turn meter once we kill Taurus and Marishka. We won't get any from um, UDK. Mm. Now, if it wasn't for UDK, now I could actually come in and finish this off with this. So uh, I'm not. Yeah, should we kill him? Yeah, let's let's kill him. We beat him pretty easily, like. Obviously, I've got to wait for UDK to kind of shift himself with Stone Skin, but he's cycling around, and it's a good case of when to use A2 and not to use the A1, right? Or well, sorry, the A3, because it makes no sense using A3. Uh, we're going to come in, reset her abilities. Mm. So we're going to add, see if this week hits. No, it doesn't. So, yeah, two minutes, not too shabby. Uh, we've got Dark again up there. We've got a, a bit of an annoying team there. Uh, King, that's what it is. Not really the most fun team to take on. Okay, so we've got Mr. Bill here, really strong Seafy. Looks like he's running high resistance with the resistance aura. He's got Marishka, it fully awakened with Sheepy, and he has a plus one UDK fully awakened with Sheepy. So obviously he's feeling a bit Sheepy, right? So anyway, this will be the last fight. We're going to go ahead and take him out in this fight. Or hopefully take him out in this fight. Let me down in the comments which mythicals you want to see next in the videos. And where you want to test them. We are pretty much coming to the end of the showcasing of pretty much near enough every mythical in the game right now. So you can go ahead and check them out on my channel if you want. Um, I definitely would say grow your knowledge. And if you get a chance to play with them. Obviously, it's really helped me in live arena myself to counter a lot of these champions. So, yeah, and don't worry, we're getting a bit unlucky here with the sheep again. So, we know what we're kind of expecting right now. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and come in with the E1. See how much damage we can do against the stone skin. Pretty sure reaction prop there. So, is what it is. Hmm. It might be a good case to see the second form if they let us see the second form. Mm. So we just wait. 
He's running a very slow Taurus, in all, in all fairness. Okay, so we're not going to see it because we died instead. Uh, we died because we got sheeped. Mm, let me see if we can save this. Uh, ah, so here we go. Here we go. So Lizard Man revived Sigford. That's probably like the most cheesiest thing to see. Um, but it works, right? Uh, we got a little bit lucky there. So sometimes in arena fights, all you need is a little bit of luck. We're actually going to come in and now we're going to reset all the abilities here. So we could reset his revive, etc. Going to come in with the strip. Hopefully we do not get sheeped. We got the block damage to protect us against Taurus as a counter attack. So she's going to go down. She, that's fine. She's done her job already. Uh, and we can kind of just see how we're going to play this through now with the, the revive and stuff, right? So, mm, we'll let them do their things and we'll just wait for the metamorph now, which is basically what we're going to be waiting for is the metamorph. We got the block damage on this with, uh, block boss, sorry, with increased, um, with increased resistance. I'm actually going to transform with lizard man now because we're going to need some damage from him. If you guys want to see a lizard man build, you can, you can. There is a video on him already on Lizard Man. Uh, I still need to do a video on uh, Queen Catraxa. So that will come probably next week or the week after, depending on my schedules. And this is a great showcase of to see the second form in use, basically. Uh, we're just going to try and weaken if we can. Mm. Cool. We're going to try and do the lockout there. Fine. Mm -mm -mm. And then we're going to metamorph back. And we're going to see. So his passive here is in use. So we're going to do the A2. Try quit and come back around. There we are. So we're also going to get more turn meter from his passive as well, right? And then try and come through. No, we get weak hit. Mm, and then basically, I think Taurus is actually going to kill Suzerain again. So the Metamorph is on cooldown now. Yeah, we got one turn cooldown on it. So probably would die here. Okay, cool. So, you know, we wanted to see the second form. Uh, if I was paying attention a bit more, we would one of this would have been much easier. Mr. Bill has got a good team, but it's definitely not as good as like Dark and the, the rest of the the Madden SP that we we uh, basically um, attacked throughout that. So let's go ahead. Let's do the Sigford build. Um, now we have got Sheep as the blessing, but I would probably take Harvest Cast in all fairness for more damage, depending if you, what you want. He's probably just touch sheep for RNG because he used them in our, for the uh, classic arena, right? So, sorry, live arena. So, for me, I would take Harvest Cast as the blessing. Uh, this is the gear. So, we've got a four piece uh, lethal set. So, we're ignoring quite a bit of defense of, with more. So, his gear is basically attack, uh, critical damage with tag sub stats, and then attack with blood shield ring. That's super nice. It's just a nice little bit of bonus. We do have blood shield as well. Uh, sorry, uh, refresh, which is super nice as well. Uh, we've got speed with tax of stat, critical damage, etc. Attack chest, critical rate, critical damage, critical damage loss with attack percentage, uh, and then attack as well across the board. So, yeah, pretty uh, reasonable. Uh, and then the masteries, we're running house master as a tier six option. We've got um, shield breaker to do a bit more damage. We've got cycle of uh, violence to try and cycle through his abilities even more if it procs. So the more damage you do, the more stuff is proc in and then just basically uh, more damage stuff here. And then retribution for that A1. So the A1 is quite effective against Rhoda, especially with an ally attack as well, right? So, and then let's go ahead, show you the stats all the way through. So Sigford's just gonna have 8,000 
194 attack and then we have 397 critical damage so that is absolutely crazy so there we are there is the sigfa build uh let's show you the stats quickly on the second one uh not like it really matters in all fairness because um we've already used him so yeah uh hp will be 63,000 attack drops down to 6,288 and then we've got critical damage dropping down slightly as well and the speed has come up to uh, 274 uh 4,000 defense oh yeah yeah um and then 300 and uh 384 critical damage so yeah damn uh, let me go ahead and just change it back. I want to see his speed in the second form, see if it changes much, because I've really not paid attention. No, it doesn't change much. So basically, the speed stays the same. That is absolutely crazy speed. So yeah, um, let me pop onto my account, and then I'm actually going to show you my build very quickly on him, and then we can go through a little bit of bits and bobs on that as well. Okay, so we're back on my account. This is going to be like a quick one. Uh, this is my... Sigford build, right? So we've gone from the world's strongest to the world's weakest uh Sigford build. Probably not the world's weakest, but the world's weakest uh platinum one anyway. So uh for mine we've actually got 7274, 237 speed, and then 303 crew good damage. So if I had the four star, that'd be super cool. I would go a bit more and I probably would rebuild him a little bit. If I had another 30, sorry, 45 critical damage from a blessing, uh, to be honest, I'd probably put like another 20 speed on him. Um, as you can see, he is fully oiled. Uh, accessories are pretty basic, uh, but we do have a six piece Mercer set. So I've rebuilt him since my video, and I really think he's so strong in Merciless. So Merciless will give you basically the four piece, will give you a 30% chance to get a. A random cooldown when dealing damage and then i'm also ignoring 35 percent defense which is massive in arena and obviously right now other than like ignoring defense in general like i'm ignoring like 85 uh ignore defense with my merciless and the the 50 percent on that as well so it's a lot of ignore defense now i've got house smasher then Obviously, I'm ignoring like, uh, what, 100 and something, 115, 105 crook damage. Uh, so I ignore defense. That's absolutely insane. And as you can see on mine, we do have the Harvest Cast Blessing. So this will just allow me to do a bit more damage. He does put boss on himself, like the block damage and stuff like that, which I find super effective. So there is mine in a nutshell. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoy this. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It just helps support my channel. I've been Green Reaper. Thank you for watching to the end. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.